so what's up everybody i'm kind of popping in on a little surprise vibe y'all know what it is now's the vibe break got this new moon action today new moon and libra Just a little chop it up. Matter of fact, uh, I just did the video. Uh, I just dropped the video about you know resilience through the retrograde or retrograde resilience. Uh, one should never, you know, what I'm saying again, where everything is a balance. You know, uh, not treating. You know, planetary transits as some type of, you know, thing that holds your life in the balance, you know what I'm saying, in that sense of it, you know, but it's definitely some uh, key and important energies, you know what I'm saying, with the retrogrades. And then also, uh, you know, with any retrograde or any planetary transit, you know, again, it's like drawing a flower of life, you know, you got the first circle. You know, you got the consciousness by itself, and then it expands its consciousness around. And then once you get that full 360 degrees or that ring, you know, uh, matter of fact, uh, speaking of the ring, the Lord of the Rings, the, the ring of Sauron in essence, 360 degrees, you know, matter of fact, or that full awareness on the astrological level, but, uh, that consciousness then moves to the farthest spot within that bubble, you know, and then expands from there, you know. And when it's on the edge of the, so say for instance, I gotta always draw it out, you know what I'm saying? Just for those who knew some some of y'all, like, man, you, you explain this a lot, we got it, but you know. First, you got the, again, the consciousness or the, you know, the, the, uh, the thought, the being in essence, and then it becomes conscious of this 360 degrees around itself. Not completely accurate, but you get the pitch. Then that little dot moves to the furthest edge of its consciousness and then creates awareness in that area. You know, when you think about all the mythological stories or like, you know, where they uh, talk about Yadala brought, you know, in the Gnostic scriptures, you know, Sophia Pistis and uh, the Yadala brought story. But when Yadala brought got cast down to Tartarus, you know what I'm saying, down to the quote unquote, uh, you know, Tartar is considered like the abyss in essence. But long story short, you know, when he got cast down, you know, again, cause and effect, you know, the cause was he got cast down to Tartarus and the effect was uh, some new emotions slash beings were created, you know, with uh, jealousy, you know, when, he went down to Tartarus, the energy of jealousy was created. Matter of fact, we're all up in here. What's up, hot? Everybody give a thumbs up. Let me know what's up with the sound quality. Everything good. So uh, seeing all these little shows with the with the queens, you know, and thinking about the pole shifts as well. You know, the serpent queen, and you got the house of dragons. You know, the 
whole connection with the bloodline. I got a uh all right, peace, peace, next to this 66. What's up, what's up? But what it is, uh yeah, I just did the video on Patreon with like the whole the connection with the rose, the dragons, the blood, you know. And when I watch a lot of these shows, I always just make it internal. Like now nah, everything is like a, you know, micro and macro, you know what I'm saying? But you know, by looking at it from the micro perspective, I get the macro perspective. But like, you know, with all these shows with these the kings and queens and the house of, uh, I forgot like, uh, was the house of Tenaris? But anyway, like, you know, all these different houses, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you think about uh, from the Bible, you know what I'm saying? In in my father's house, there are many mansions are again, these different houses. You think about astrology, you got the first house, the second house, the third house. You think about uh, what it is, Jupiter ascending. I think they bring up the different houses. You know, you got uh, Dune, the movie Dune, the classic one. You know, which I mean, of course, the new one is based off of the classic one, but you know, the classic one, you know, the House of Atreides, and, you know, and that that been that's been coming up too a lot lately. Uh, you know, uh, when he became Ma Dib, you know, uh, what's his name? What was the main character name? Uh, matter of fact, I probably got it right here. Let's see, what was the son's name? But anyway, he became a uh, mod dip and he was teaching them how to use their voice, you know what I'm saying, as like a weapon in essence, you know. And matter of fact, that's also on the little show uh, Motherland, Fort Salem, you know, where they got the witches, uh, about the witches working Paul, hey, shout out. Thank you, thank you. This is, we in the, got participation. That's what I like. That's what the lives is for. Appreciate that. But uh, otherwise, it feel like I'm just being watched by robots or some type of shit. I'd be very, like, I'd be this far away from, like, turning off lives where it's, like, nobody, like, participating, you know. It's like... I say something and just nobody say nothing back. It's like, all right, that shit weird. Let me, I think <laughs> the word weird, the word weird gonna get ran ran out like the word woke. Cause people be overusing that too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Motherland Fort Salem was basically about. Uh, you know, the, a group of witches, or basically witches in general, uh, being like in the army or working for the government, you know, with their own little, you know, again, Fort Salem, you know, and one of their powers is using their, you know, their voice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, has it Scott? Say a little word, flip you over. Then they also have some whips, and that remind me of, uh, the little whips they got remind me of of uh what's his name come on uh steven universe and amethyst amethyst got the little whip you know uh of steven universe but you're seeing again like a lot of uh you know women being raised up in the roles and movie shows and a lot of things. Of course, some of that shit gonna be propaganda. I twisted a little bit, but for the most part, you know, again, like there's gonna be, you know, with any partial truth, you know, there is truth in it, you know, but you have to have your awareness, you know, uh, when watching these shows and stuff like that, you know. To the point where, you know, me personally, I wouldn't tell nobody who's new to the game to even watch too much of some of the stuff they putting out until you do kind of get like a deeper or better understanding about, you know, certain things, you know, because again, you got like little confusing stuff within the, you know, but uh, 
and you know with the pole shifts and, and you ask yourself like well shit what's gonna happen when the pole shift you know and the first thing that came to mind was like alice in wonderland you know and matter of fact uh another show uh star trek discovery kind of tapping with the alice in wonderland and the mycelium because matter of fact the mycelium mushrooms is on motherland for salem too they talk about the great mother and connecting with the mycelium now asterisk about by you know some of that because there is you know like everything is a balance you know what i'm saying because there is this uh and i spoke to this you know the energy of this hive mind and a lacking free will type of way you know what i'm saying like almost a complete control type of way you know uh that may not be you know that extreme may not be the healthiest thing in essence you know because one could say you know like well ain't telepathy like a hive mind but not necessarily you know like telepathy is communication so to the outsider looking in that probably would seem like oh shit they on the same you know level you know in a sense but it's just really just communication without you know external words so an outsider you know looking at that like you know like you know what shit they moving as one unit type of thing you know what i'm saying but compared to or are they just able to move without speaking so it seems like they're part of a you know again like a whole unit compared to like where everybody's on a high mind and it's just like like literally like you know what i'm saying no individuality or uniqueness you know what i'm saying that kind of goes into the the insect the, the insectoid beings in essence are like you know like the uh because again like yeah, the bees connect with royalty, and ain't nothing wrong with the bees, but the bees definitely, you know, again, connected to that, to that hive mind energy, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, the whole Fort Salem, you know, connection, and that's what I was going to say with the, with the pole shift, you know, as above, so below. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, you know, you got the breathing technique of alternating nostrils, and basically, uh, one nostril is like the yin or the uh negative you know energy uh channel you could say and one is the yang the positive energy channel but after like you know of course you know you swap out doing the breathing you know to balance them out and hence why you know one of the importance i realized and this is for myself you know you ain't gotta be all you know to each his own on how you take care of your health you know what i'm saying but like realizing the importance of not getting like a clogged up nose, you know what I'm saying? I show the doctor said be in that area of, you know, making sure you ain't got a lot of mucus build up, you know. But to see the importance of like if you got one nostril stopped up, then that's gonna throw your your yin and yang energies a little off balance, you know what I'm saying? But uh you know you think of a battery like what all right what happens if the positive side on the battery turns negative and the negative side turns positive and the first thing that comes to mind and that's why i brought alice in wonderland because it's like that energy of like what you thought was up is down and what you thought was down was up you know what i'm saying in, in that sense and you know it would like you know you would have to flip the battery you know what i'm saying so now what was the battery was now like this and now it has to flip in order for things to work in essence you know so the energy has got to you know shift a little in some way form or fashion just saying it lightly you know but you know we got uh also we dealing with this new moon energy with the libra energy you know definitely a little feeling of uh you know healing any relationships you know what i'm saying if you're not healing a relationship to be back connecting with that person physically or communicating with them all the time you know at least you know uh doing 
energy work for like you know forgiveness of yourself and and for them for whatever may have caused any mishaps or whatever the case may be you know you're gonna feel that energy coming up and again with all these retrogrades you know just a lot of reflecting and that's what i was gonna say earlier too when i was showing the different little circles is like certain planetary so say for instance jupiter in aries you know uh now which some of those outer planets may have not been in a sign like say for instance last time jupiter was in aries was probably like let's just say 60 years ago i'm just throwing a number out there but uh you know but let's like inner planets for example that kind of you know cycle through a little quicker than that you know like uh mars let's say mars uh which i don't know where is that now but just for example you know mars in uh gemini well the last time so if mars in gemini now again for example then you're gonna be experienced since remnants of the last time mars was in gemini which could have been when you was four years old or when you was 10 or when you was you know but just some some moment in your past you know what i'm saying and, and having awareness with that because uh the shit sound kind of like you know like oh it's all positive you know what i'm saying like in the sense of like when you think of like lesson loops you know uh you know, when you're going through lesson loops, it's like, man, why in the fuck I keep repeating this shit? Like, what's going on? Like, why I keep repeating this same cycle? You know, and it could get aggravating, which is going to take me to uh, another thing I want to speak on. But it could get, uh, you know, a little aggravating, you know, uh, to like keep going through it. But again, at the end of the day, you know, it's helping you to gain clarity and it's helping for you to learn something that you need to learn before moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you playing the game and you think you hot shit, like trying to find a shortcut and this and that, but then you get to a certain board where because you took this shortcut, you missed out on getting a certain item that's necessary to get past this board. And then the game kind of lets you know that, like, ha, ha, ha got to go back to this level because you use the the little portal thing you know what i'm saying and you you know what i'm saying you try to uh take this shortcut so now you got to go back you know and get this little weapon or this little relic or whatever you know what i'm saying to move forward and basically as you get again like what lesson loops is and the, and you know shit getting real with the energy of like having to do you know again like the shadow work you know, uh, awareness to, to not be out here blaming other people for shit you got going on, you know what I'm saying? And again, this for the mature, anybody who not aware that they not, you know, that they creating their experience, you know, then they need to go watch some more of my videos or other video or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and I came to that realization through experience, you know, from psychedelics to just seeing it, you know, after after the trips, you know, coming down, since opening that door now saying like, fuck, you know, I'm, this is all me. Now, of course, again, like somebody could be antagonist or somebody could, you know, have this, this uh, you know, messed up energy towards you. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, you attracting it for better or for worse. Now, of course, you know, you got to be aware because you can be attracting it off of the sense of, you know, you are a vibrational match to it, you know. But then also you got just attacking this coming to you just off of the strength of like, you know, like the mark to light where, you know, you lit up. So beings, you know, that want to feed on that light, you know, kind of coming to you. You know in that sense where it's not necessarily like you know like you did anything for them to you know uh come in that sense you know what i'm saying oh man i don't know it, it might it's probably still go through appreciate the uh appreciate eric r appreciate that really appreciate that a matter of fact uh because I no longer, I probably won't be able to receive, I have to get a lot more of those to receive the funds because I no longer monetize. 
and it takes a hundred dollar threshold to get monetization funds or whatever so uh with that being said greatly appreciate it and uh you know sending the donations to my cash app or uh, paypal venmo you know what i'm saying all that where i could you know uh operate off of it instantly you know what i'm saying but again i i, I appreciate that eric because it, it's gonna come in hand it's, it's pushing the threshold but <laughs> uh so appreciate it uh where was i feel like i was talking about uh I was talking about the anger of lesson loops and again like that that energy of feeling like the new age energy of like uh yeah like you know like oh you know it's for your own it's for the best you know what I'm saying like appreciate and have gratitude you know because it you know it feel like some fake shit to like you know have gratitude for something you keep looping through but again like you know on some level uh, and that's what I was talking about, like, you know, attracting certain energies, attracting certain beings, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, into our experience. But again, it's all us, you know, and having to, you know, hold yourself accountable, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the best thing you could do right now, you know what I'm saying, is not try to point it out. Because, like, all right, yeah, so-and-so was, again, possibly doing this or that, but what were you you would probably like for one if you wasn't doing nothing towards anybody else then you were probably lying to yourself so that's why you had somebody around you lying to you you know what i'm saying like so yeah you could say they was lying but you was probably lying to yourself to in order for you to even be in that situation you know what i'm saying so you know like being aware of that And that's what I was gonna say about the anger, you know, perspective. You know, what's been very helpful for me uh, lately, you know, is emotional freedom technique, AKA some people just call it tapping, or uh, emotional freedom technique. I mean, uh, uh, EFT, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as an acronym, you know, uh, but emotional freedom technique. You know, it's coming handy. Now I got videos on uh, Patreon. I might have a few on here that kind of talks about different exercises to help with the emotions. Cause again, you know, uh, yeah, we connecting with the thoughts, you know, cause even with that perspective, you know, like the thoughts is more so like the air, the, the masculine perspective. And since the, the feminine perspective been neglected for so long, you know, having to, you know, pay attention to, you know, those waters. And since, you know, again, just like our body, you know what I'm saying, uh, over at least 70 percent water, you know, like that water needs to be taken care of, you know what I'm saying. And with the emotional freedom technique, you know, this is mostly, I would say, recommended for those of us, matter of fact, uh you know whether it's connected to astrology sign you know or astrology archetype or not you know but for those of us who who may have trouble you know dealing with our emotions you know i just think of the capricorn energy first thing come to mind because it's like you know it is it's, it's paradoxical because you know it's like the goat with the with the tail in the water so you got awareness of the water but you know, in order to climb that that mountain, you can't get too caught up in the water. And in essence, you know, uh, sometimes the playing the poker face with the emotions could also, if you're not careful, be, become like emotional cold or numb. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, doing emotional assessments. You know, like how am I really feeling right now? You know what I'm saying? And paying attention to the fact that you know. If you have been hiding your emotions to that level, you know, like how subtle or hard they are to like really pick up on because of how long you've been, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not giving them that, you know, that uh, awareness. So again, though, the emotional freedom technique, you know, uh, real great for managing emotions, especially for those who, you know, 
whole emotions in and i thought about it like you know the eft is almost like a like a emotional shit you know what i'm saying like a emotional you know a uh, bowel movement in essence you know what i'm saying or like you, you've been emotional constipated you know like i say you know like EFT is like a laxative for your emotions in essence. You know, ooh, I know. But it ain't about like the ego coining little phrases and stuff, but you know, but that's on point. Like it is like an emotional laxative. And uh, just explaining a little bit, you know, but which this is the wholeness of it, you know, uh, now it, it goes in like you could do this with your fingers or use a crystal. You know, now you got certain acupuncture point, parts, you know, from, uh, I picked up on it from, uh, who it is, Judy Hall's book, uh, which one is The Crystal Prescriptions, volume six, if I'm not mistaken. But, cause it's a little different from some of your regular acupuncture points. Now you could just go with acupuncture points or like, you know, like aligning with the chakras or at least the main three TN points. Uh, like when you're talking about like Tai Chi or Chi Gong, you know, where basically your heart center, your navel center, and then your first eye center, you know, but, uh, you know, also tapping like the side of the hands. And then you could do like the past life chakras as well, you know, but basically the reason why it's so valuable, especially again for like the emotional constipated or for those is especially great for, for like if you still judge certain emotions as bad, like, oh, I shouldn't express anger. Oh, I shouldn't express sadness. Oh, I shouldn't express negative emotions. It's like, no, you got to express those negative emotions. And this exercise is great because the, so, all right, just setting it up, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you want to be somewhere quiet, somewhere also where you could kind of like blow some steam without nobody looking at you crazy, you know? I mean, of course, it, you could do it, you know, if you're that still on like being around people while doing it, but it'd just be best if you're somewhere where you could just really feel free to just like, you know, let loose because uh you start off with you know you could some people might remember their first statement but you know writing out the first statement you know you could be like you know like man i'm so fucking aggravated and that's what you want to do like so the first statement is like raw like you know you know whether you like to cur use quote unquote curse words or not you know what i'm saying we talk about spells and stuff but you know uh, and not necessarily putting a curse on yourself except for like the word you know like being damned up is almost like the only real curse word in that sense of it that they call curse words but anyway uh you know but it's a, a real like letting loose you know what i'm saying like you know like man i'm fucking aggravated that I had to, you know, uh, go through that situation with so and so in the way my cousin treated me just a while ago, and you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like that shit aggravating to 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 hear spirituality say, "Hey, I gotta be high vibrational, but then I gotta do shadow work." That shit be aggravating to try to work through the paradox of this realm, you know, like all that shit, any and everything that has just been getting you flustered you know what i'm saying in some way form or fashion like let it out and let it out just like that you know what i'm saying like you know it ain't gotta be in a soft voice like this like no the object is to like you know like ah like you know you know again if you ain't a person to curse you know like almost just that sailor energy so to speak but you know and you do that while tapping certain points you know Again, and, and, and you know, whether you want to use a pendulum, you know, to ask like, hey, what point should I tap? Should I tap my solar plexus for this, you know what I'm saying? For this, for this energy that I'm speaking on, or should I tap my past life chakras, you know? Which in the Judy Hall book, it speaks to like when you're doing your second or possibly third statements, 
you know you want to do the uh, side of your hands your crown and you know uh, the past life chakras but basically you let loose you know you go through it you just bam you know and you tap in the little points again wherever you see fit you know what I'm saying if you know it's something tied to you sacral chakra tap your sacral chakra if you know it's something kind of tied to your heart you know like man it really aggravated me that so and so kind of ghosted me like that or you know or it made me feel bad that i had to ghost so and so or whatever you know what i'm saying like whatever the case may be you know uh you know again like tapping that certain area while you're going through that and then after you kind of done exhausted yourself like you done went in you know, because again, after you do your first, like you have your first statement, but your first statement is just something to kind of start with. And then you could either, you know, again, like freestyle it or have all your statements written out. But that, but your first statement, quote unquote, is just like that first little verse, you know what I'm saying? And you just, you know, again, like let it all out. And then towards the end, you know, you kind of have like a, uh, like a little healing statement of like, let's see, since I'm walking through it like that. You know, so after the, you know, again, you go in on the first statement, then you'd be like, towards it when you finish, it's like, nevertheless, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself and others. You know what I'm saying? And, Basically, that's it. And then you go to the second statement. And when you're setting up the second statement, now, of course, this is why you got to genuinely let loose the first row. Because I realized, like, as I was doing this genuinely, you know, the, not only the easier it was to step into the second statement, like, well, you know, because the second statement or the second little part is like, well, you know, even though that went bad or this and that i did get some clarity from it you know uh even though i lost my shoe i was able to buy some new shoe oh you know what i'm saying but you kind of like clean it up a little bit you know and you again like you tapping but again like uh you tapping the main parts you know that you you know that you feel that you're supposed to uh that's best for you to you know again that's connecting with and then you again make sure you tap the side of the hands the uh past life chakras and then the crown you know but again i realized like you know after that first statement it becomes like you know easier to you know let the second statement go and then what i also realized is like the more you do the exercise the less irate your first statement is Cause I like you. You get to a point where it's like, you know. Also, as you're doing it, you're getting realizations of like why you know you feel that way, or like you know, like you start to see that that energy of being pissed off is like. But yeah, I did this and I did that. So you you know you kind of like again like the more I was doing it, the more it was like you know it's like shit. I almost can't even be irate because. You know, not only it seems like a repetitive notion, but I kind of getting clarity of why I'm even going through that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because when you kind of know what's up with, you know, with your inner energy, it, it, it becomes like uh, tougher to be that angry about it. You know what I'm saying? And that sense of it. And again, after you finish your second statement, you know, that second part, and then you'd be like, you know, and I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself and others, which I say that and tap each part. Like I deeply and completely love, accept and forgive myself and others. I deeply, you know what I'm saying, do it and say it over and over again, you know, for each part. And then if necessary, you do it, uh, you know, a third part as well. And then after you're done, you know, you kind of sit for a little second, kind of just, you know, just sit there, not trying to think about nothing, but just allow for everything to kind of flow through, you know. But, uh, you know, yeah, very, uh, could be very helpful to, you know, those who, 
you know, may be emotionally constipated or like, you know, that tuck in emotions a lot, you know, uh, it'll definitely, you know, help get a lot of that energy out, you know what I'm saying? Because as I'm speaking on this on the new moon, you know, with the moon cycles in general, you know, they connect the two emotions, you know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely, you know, because again, that's a part of, you know, even getting, you know, matter of fact, like getting recycled into the microcosmic lesson loops or the macrocosmic, which is reincarnation, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, so it could be like reincarnating into the same situation in this lifetime or reincarnating back into here, you know, uh, on a macrocosmic level. You know, because again, uh, the whole uh, Saturn moon matrix, you know, Saturn dealing with the, the karmic energy cause and effect, you know. And again, which I get into with the whole perspective of, you know, when you talk about bloodlines and stuff like that, and the blood having iron in it and iron connected to Mars and Mars connected to, you know, uh, just when I think of the two main polarities, you know, uh, the positive aspect is like passion and drive, but I think just passion, you know, and then also war and fighting, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, from my own little downloads, you know what I'm saying? That perspective, like, you know, and then, you know, books kind of seem, books kind of speak on this same notion to some extent too. Like, as far as like family members or your blood family, you know what I'm saying? like blood relatives may be beings that you know again either you were highly passionate about or that you were warring with again the mars energy and hence why y'all connected by the mars energy all the quote-unquote blood and no coincidence again as above so below as within so without mythology's anatomy by law you know your bones you know uh are the bone marrow is where red blood cells are created you know what i'm saying so literally so and the bones is connected to saturn so literally you know saturn kind of creates like you know again like the cause and effect like all right you was beefing with this person are you super passionate you're gonna reincarnate in this type of connection with this being you know what i'm saying and again it shows up in the body the same way where the, the body you know, or the bone, the Saturn energy creates the Mars energy, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? That goes into, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, getting the whole uh, connection with the importance of blood and, you know, uh, our DNA and reincarnation, stuff like that, you know. And what's up, everybody? I ain't been really looking in here. Mr. West, what's up? What's up? Ajana Nicole MC Lama Hawk, American Indian Michemi. What's up? Peace, peace. Just love Stephen Bailey, Five of Cups. Pick a low sun in the building. Peace, peace, man. It's always great to, to, to see, you know, the familiars and the new and the new folks too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't really like saying but after I say something. Because literally, but be just like, uh, you know, it needs to be taken for literally what it means. And the essence of it's almost like taking away the first statement that you made. You know, like, I love you, but it's like, Kind of just taking a taking away. You know, but uh you know and again speaking about the whole bloodlines and you know and again I just saw Mr. West ask about like the heavy energies lately and you know like yeah you know this retrograde energy you know, and hence why, you know, the the little statement, it, it becomes more and more important, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for one, you know, actions speak louder than words. You know, again, like as much as we could 
read all these books and shit like that you know it's like making sure we applying what we learning and also like you know that energy of like you know uh being ready so you don't have to get ready and hence why a lot of us again like you know and it happens in waves certain people been getting certain insights some people just coming across insights you know but uh you know it's like hopping on it asap you know what i'm saying like whatever it is you're getting insight you know like to detox to do eft you know work or whatever it is it's like shit, you know like get on it asap you know what i'm saying like because uh you know as things shift you know you want to be in the state where because i feel i see more and more where it's just you, it's just best to be on point you know what i'm saying like one simple you know uh again like holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to you know that messes with your memory you know and i think about the water you know like again memory being water you know and like how like the air like you got too too much ruminating thoughts from the past or just ruminating you know just thoughts incessant thoughts just constantly popping up you know metaphysically you know just think about it you know again like if if the wind was just constantly blowing over the ocean you know like that the water gonna be all crazy you know what i'm saying and if the water all like that it's gonna be hard for you to tap into your memory you know what i'm saying when that air keep blowing the water like that you know what i'm saying or when the when the uh the water is contaminated in essence you know what i'm saying like we got too much stuff too many attachments and stuff like that in the water you know too much trash in the water it's gonna be tough to like dig in the water and pull out you know and pull out those memories and when i say it like that you know from that perspective because i you know i definitely sense and feel like your memories is you know it's like a cloud it's like you know uh not necessarily like you're going into a memory bank or just more so like being clear enough to access it like it's always there like it's not necessarily you forgetting as much as it's just like an energy of you're not vibrating on the frequency to access your cloud fully but it's all still there in essence you know what i'm saying yeah you know tapping in with that energy Again, uh, with all, all these little dragon shows or serpent energies coming up, you know, and having to remember, you know, uh, the deeper understanding of that, like, you know, uh, there are certain, uh, you know, they, you know, go to reference the terror papers, you know, by Robert Morning Sky, you know, and on the discard uh, server and on patreon recently again doing a video uh in, in connection with the uh the realm of the ring lords uh i think that's the name of the book and then also uh the dragon legacy book shout out to uh so it is written aka mook for uh for bringing up the dragon legacy book and put me on that book you know what i'm saying definitely got to give a shout out to that you know, and again, you gotta have the deeper perspective. You know, that's why I ain't just go in on that on my YouTube channel, cause uh, it 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 is kind of more of a depth level type of like you know uh, literature. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you see all the stuff just lightly, you know, about vampirism and menstrual cycles and stuff like that, you know, you gotta be a little more in the know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to kind of tap into that because it also you know like like it always been shared on this channel and others you know uh hollywood or you know the government to take you know certain ritual ritualistic things and turn it into something you know uh they're personified in a manner to try to scare you away from it partially to partially to purposely scare you away from it but then partially because they're 
you know, at, at one point they wasn't really aware of how to truly tap into this, so they did it in their own little way of understanding, you know what I'm saying? Like again, instead of just, you know, really understanding the alchemical process of like, you know, like, uh, you know, balance or spiritual equilibrium or like, you know, uh, the androgyny energy, you know, they turn it into something where it's about having orgies, you know, in a homosexual manner, teach his own about your sexual orientation, you know what I'm saying? But again, how it's promoted in, in that perspective, you know, like, you know, and call themselves like, oh yeah, this is the, the path to, you know, tapping into that energy, you know what I'm saying? But it was just their own little, you know, perverted way, you know what I'm saying? Of, you know, taking some information and kind of, you know, again, whether it was purposely or not really understanding how to, you know, tap into it, you know. But. You know, uh, another thing, you know, is understanding, like I brought up the mac macrocosm you know, and the microcosm and macrocosm aspect of reincarnation or the death and rebirth cycle, you know, and I thought about like also like, uh, cause right now, you know, after these retrogrades, you know, a lot of us are gonna have like a lot of that aha uh -huh energy and we're gonna have like a different perspective, you know, or more refined perspective, you know, of, you know, how we're gonna be of service, how we're gonna live the life that we love, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because we're gonna be more clear, you know, after having to, you know, review a lot of, you know, uh, stuff that then went on in our past, which is connected to, you know, past lives in that sense as well, you know, but, you know, you're gonna have like a lot of, you know, uh, aha moments. Most of the retrogrades gonna end you know, the majority of them like around, you know, mid-October. But I know maybe one or two planets, uh, one or two of the outer planets gonna still be, you know, in a retrograde, I think until January or something like that. You know, but the majority of them will be, you know, out of uh, retrograde, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when I talk about the microcosmic, you know, uh, perspective of death and rebirth cycles, but in your daily life and activities and reason why i'm bringing this up because it again it just helps refine and understand how it's so you know uh you know again as above so below as within so without you know what i'm saying like you know it's like bigger cycles to the smaller cycles and you know uh like because the way I've been treating, you know, my YouTube channel, like I know I'm not gonna be doing videos all like the same way I have been doing them. And I caught myself almost like in the sense of like, you know, it felt like I was like a father writing his will, you know what I'm saying? Or a parent writing his will, you know what I'm saying? And not to call y'all, you know what I'm saying? Or anybody, um, you know, uh, connecting with my YouTube channel, my children or none of that, you know what I'm saying? more so if something was like my child in essence it would be you know the youtube channel in general you know what i'm saying but uh you know because like giving birth to it you know uh but like you know like like say for instance like you know making sure i'm like creating uh creating playlists to organize things you know it's like let me make sure i leave this in a manner you know where they could really get it because a, a part of that is also helping you to not feel like you gotta reincarnate you know back and you see it in a microcosmic uh microcosmic level again with just little activities where you like well let me do a couple more videos or like if it was music like you know like some rappers you know like let me let me bless them on this last album, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna be rapping like I used to, you know, like uh, you think of like, again, just for the example of it, you know, uh, you know, like a rapper, 
transitioning into you know like literally transitioning into doing more acting or more of a business owner you know and you know that last album they like really made sure they had the features or, or lack thereof because they like you know i want to give y'all just me or whatever but it's like you know like let me make sure like i kind of you know have this straight you know what i'm saying before i transition into this next chapter you know what i'm saying that type of energy you know so again like seeing how that happens you know uh on a microcosmic level you know what i'm saying but again with certain activities and again like that being in connection with the retrograde you know energy you know again with uh, and also as i'm bringing that up and like a, a father passing down something or a mother you know what i'm saying because again like you're seeing these shows with a lot of the, the queen energy you know coming up and you know uh been catching the serpent queen and then also the house of dragon but like watching the house of dragon you know again like i keep like just looking at it like the macrocosm or or, or like you know like the scenarios of it being inside my body in essence you know because i looked at the house of dragons you know i'm like uh you know the 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 dragon so say for instance the dragons uh spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert you know uh but the dragons being controlled by you know a certain family you know and this family like runs the you know runs the whole little land you know what i'm saying they 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 the only ones that's fucking flying on dragons that's breathing fire and shit like that they got about 10 different dragons so of course you know nobody else got dragons so it's like you know they gonna run things i thought about like hmm inside my body like imagine the cells who had access to the kundalini energy you know what i'm saying because in essence the kundalini you know on a microcosmic level you know is uh you know again like the dragon or serpent energy you know because again like when we talk about these reptilian beings you know yeah they got like um malif how you say like the archons or like the the uh, malevolent or you know these the beings who's trying to be harmful you know connected to that reptilian energy but then we're also connected to it because our body suit you know has that reptilian energy you know we talk about the reptilian brain and the kundalini you know what i'm saying and the whole little connection to the nagas you know what i'm saying and stuff like that and that also connects with the seraphim in the bible or the gnostic scriptures you know but uh the dragon energy representing the kundalini and then that's that's microcosmic so my microcosmic within our bodies and then macro externally you know uh which you might not hear nobody say it too much you know what i'm saying uh probably if anything uh maybe a shout out to uh dolo uh the flight boss he probably uh brought it up for sure you know uh but on a macro level you know like the ophucus kind of represents like the kundalini energy and as above so below it, you know it, it's all the proof is in the pudding in the sense of like uh ophucus is kind of located in essence you know not directly in between but in some in some way you know kind of a little bit again like above but it you know above but in the middle but like it's in between the scorpio and sagittarius you know constellation so in the sky you know scorpio or fucus a little bit higher in Sagittarius and then all right in the body the zodiac signs or archetypes are represented by certain body parts are connected to certain body parts you know Scorpio connected to the genitals Sagittarius to the thighs what's in between your thigh and your sacral chakra or you know all your thighs and you know like your genitals and area in essence you know your root your root chakra is around that area your root chakra is where the kundalini is aka you know those serpents of the ophucus and the conducive style and to connect with that insight you know uh, if you type in uh universal frequencies in orion 
you'll connect with those videos I did uh, connecting old Fucus and the Orion constellation and the mythology connected to it you know because even in one of them I don't know if it's a story of uh, Asclepius because Asclepius in uh, I don't know I'm saying all the way right and Greek mythology is kind of connected to the serpent energy or the Kundalini energy or the Caduceus you know again like the Caduceus staff and healing the body because uh, in one of them there was like and again, that's also connected to the Christ energy or the Christ seed all, you know what I'm saying? Because Christ was sold out by Judas and Judas kind of represents the Scorpio energy because the kiss is like the stinger from the Scorpio, you know, or the Scorpion energy, you know what I'm saying? And macrocosmically, when the sun is again, like moving through the Scorpio constellation, you know, again, uh, it's right before that, you know, the death. And, no coincidence, Scorpio represents the deck card uh, in the tarot. But, you know, uh, again, you got that whole connection um, macrocosmically as well. You know, but again, uh, the dragon's being controlled, you know, by this family, you know, and the family with the height and extra sense of uh, perception and ability to tame the kundalini that's what i thought i'm like they represent the cells in the body that's you know connected to the extrasensory perception connected to the kundalini and again what the dragon represents as well is something that breathes fire fire is connected to the spirit energy you know what i'm saying so it's that ability to you know uh be tapped into that spiritual you know that spirit energy you know also fires a masculine element you know representing the actions of the soul because you know the the spirit like the spirit of universal frequencies you know could be remembered in this plane of existence but my soul my nameless you know formless soul could you know be in a different dimension you know what i'm saying but you'll still be able to tap in with the actions of my soul in essence for lack of a better word aka the spirit you know uh in this realm you know what i'm saying and then no coincidence again like uh in the uh house of the dragon you got the uh the iron throne so the iron throne again fire iron throne and the iron mars energy you know and everything is so about the bloodline of you know the house of the dragon you know what i'm saying and again like the house of atreides and then on jupiter sending you know you got this house and you know the different connections you know what i'm saying and, and tapping in with our dna lineage you know what i'm saying but you know again like uh seeing those connections And they made a little reference too, again, cause I'm like just peeping out all metaphysically and some stuff, you know, again, we all different on how deep or how we, you know, the perspectives we get when watching this stuff. But like, uh, they had a statement where they told the queen or the princess, like, hey, the king or queen gotta be strong enough to defend the kingdom from the cold and dark, you know? And I just thought about again like extreme polarities and the cold and dark represents the extremes of the crown chakra in essence when you think about like when you're extremely in your crown you know for one you know you lack warmth you know what i'm saying you're away from the body you know you kind of like at the top of a mountain in essence you know where it could be kind of cold in essence you know what i'm saying uh and when you're like extremely in your crown you know, you're so, uh, when you're extremely in your crown, you're so connected to, uh, like, you know, your telepathy and your extrasensory perception abilities to the point where you could be cold. Like, you know, it's almost like that spiritual, like that scientist type of energy, like, well, you know, you're connected to spirit but it's more so like from a cold scientist type of level you know what i'm saying well all you care about is the metaphysics of going into the deep you know kind of like uh like this archetype is in the 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 movie uh what it is damn uh the time shit 
Interstellar may kind of somewhat have that archetype, but uh, what it is, wrinkle in time, you know, wrinkle in time where the dad just wanted to, all he wanted to do was just shake the universe hand, you know, it was like all about just trying to, I'm gonna find a way to shake the universe hand, you know, in essence, you know, like I'm gonna find a way to, you know, uh, again like he was so extreme about like making sure that he tap into the metaphysics that he left his family behind you know uh by doing so like you know he left his daughter and his son you know aka kind of cold to his family connection you know and that's also like a archetypical thing of like you know reconciling with you know as far as reincarnating you know and like doing it different is like all right you know this time not being so extreme in the metaphysics to the point where you like just don't give a fuck about your family in essence you know what i'm saying whether it be blood or soul family you know what i'm saying because now it's the vibrate if you hear in the body suit you know what i'm saying it's your warm blood <laughs> in the body suit you know what i'm saying uh you you here for a reason you know what i'm saying regardless of how multi-dimensional you know uh we may be you know, but again, like the cold and dark, you know, kind of represents like, you know, because it could get cold and dark, you know, and when you think about like, uh, if you haven't watched that movie, but just, you know, just hearing me speak on that perspective again, you know, it's like, you know, it's like uh, lacking that connection. And on the flip side, you know, very hot, you know what I'm saying? Again, like that's deep, you know, like, that that's the and again like the cold or the upward aspect you know that's the masculine you know what i'm saying it's more mental you know air you know what i'm saying air and fire but you know the air aspect you know what i'm saying but you can say air and fire because it's like you know the thought realm and the spiritual realm like to the extreme you know and then you got the downward triangles which is the water and earth you know the feminine aspect you know where it's so about family you know it's so hot and warm that it could almost be smothering you know that type of love where it feel like you know yeah almost like you know it could be like a high mind energy you know with that perspective too you know but like it, it's so the the energy is like smothering like i'm your mother you know i love you so much i'm gonna make sure i control your every move and that's you know what i'm saying like you know uh that type of energy you know what i'm saying so again hence why you know just see how it all kind of just points to balance and, and not calling one side good or bad not trying to use no energy as a scapegoat or the quote unquote uh like looking for a devil so to speak you know try to find something to blame something on you know what i'm saying like yeah there are energies that promotes delusion you know what i'm saying uh but uh again just speaking to the aspect where even if it's a being that promotes illusion you know that's a part of its path you know what i'm saying just know that you know if we understand and holding this that that's not a part of the path you know what i'm saying to get caught up in it because you can still recognize threats and antagonists without having to you know quote unquote like all right that's good or that's bad you know what i'm saying because again there's there's good and bad to free will or lack thereof you know in a in a free will perspective there's positives and negatives and then in in a chaotic situation or should i say well free will kind of to the chaotic situation you know it's positive and negative and then to you know uh the more hive mind control situation there's a positive and negative you know what I'm saying? You got order. You know what I'm saying? Like things ain't all chaotic, but then everybody be in control. You know. And then on the other side, you got free will. You know what I'm saying? To to act as you you know you please, so to speak. But you know, again, things could get chaotic. You know what I'm saying? So it's positive, and negative, it's balancing out those energies. basically it for the little build i just want to come in and share that 
Also, uh, they got Eclipse coming October 25th. Soul Eclipse. Uh, it's where like the the moon blocking out the sun. So like the you know the emotional body, the subconscious body is like coming in front of the outward expression. You know, aka the sun. You know. Yep, and entwining roots. What's up? What's up, sis? Yep, the flying snake. Matter of fact, cause that was on a little flying serpent thing, which they had all kind of little. Oh shit, they had all kind of little connections and stuff on. Uh, what it was, raised by wolves. That was on HBO Max. That was also like a little. There's a bunch of little thing, you know, mythologies for show sure, like a lot of Gnostic scripture uh, you know representations and that for sure To recap, you know, the emotional freedom techniques for those who need to take the emotional shit or need an emotional laxative, have an emotional constipation, tap in with the emotional freedom techniques. Could rewatch this video for me explaining it. You know, as a matter of fact, also, you know, uh, feel free. For those of y'all who may find yourself watching uh, other videos or this video, you know, you could put a little timestamp, you know what I'm saying? Like you put a comment like at the one hour in or the 50 minute mark, you know, this was talked about or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I try to do that in some of my videos as well too though. But you know, feel free. <laughs> all of the you know that's what i had in my little notes so we're gonna keep it precise uh oh but also something i wanted to bring up too you know working with crystals you know realizing how the uh working with high vibrational crystals you know if you're not aware like I, I realized at a certain point we're working with them and shout out to like again reason why i've been able to keep this moldavite for the longest you know is because i finally done learned you know how to like on on and off use with it instead of just like old moldavite all the time you know what i'm saying but uh like be aware they, they got this like this little saying where the frog like if you put a frog in cold water and start to boil it you know by the time the frog realizes it's in hot water you know it'll be you know too late so to speak now not saying necessarily that it'd be too late for you to help yourself in this situation but you know and i say but it's just to be aware though like i realized like we're working with high vibrational crystals where it could pick up your mood like again they helpers and you gotta realize how they helping like again it's not gonna automatically fix something like say for instance again like dealing with a certain lesson loop you know you in a certain a certain cycle or loop you put on a high vibrational crystal you know you will feel you know more unconditional loving or you just feel uh like better about yourself in essence but that's not necessarily you know remedying 
are, are you know being the remedy or the solution for that lesson loop you know like again it's helping you to not feel so bad you know it's helping you to be more aware of yourself to really get to the root of why this keep happening but just by wearing it again you could be like that frog where like i realized like well it was certain moments where i'm like oh shit you know again like i'm feeling good i'm feeling better after putting this on you know what i'm saying but then see myself still be in in the cycle so to speak where it was like damn this just only made me feel good while in the cycle but it really didn't do nothing and where this could be dangerous is i'm like smiling and grinning like oh yeah it should all good but i ain't really do nothing you know what i'm saying so be aware of that when working with high vibrational crystals you know what i'm saying i did a video too uh and i spoke on it you know like of course like you know we're working with crystals you know not just uh fixing symptoms but getting to the root cause of like you know why you experiencing a certain thing you know like yeah you won't help with your anxiety but you also want to understand you know what's even the root cause to even keep having that anxiety so you know also keeping that in mind Uh, Numite is one of the the best crystals for like uh, you know Numite and Petalite probably you know two of the best crystals I know of and matter of fact Shujalite and Black Sapphire as well you know for dealing with any type of uh, you know very harmful or traumatizing you know psychic attacks or just harmful and traumatizing energies in general you know very uh strong and protective against that you know what i'm saying and again you know uh it's helping you get to the bottom of why you even attracted that in the first place so you could become more aware and stronger to stop attracting those situations or be aware of how to handle you know those situations externally again it helps you internally and you understand how to operate externally you know but uh New might definitely a real strong like you know magical energy you know uh you definitely find yourself tapping in the past lives you know be aware of that you know again whether you realize it or not it's gonna ha help you and have you tapping into certain past lives so you want to have that awareness and that intention when wearing it you know what i'm saying to to be aware of that you know, you wondering why you experiencing something that seems like it's, you know, from a whole nother, uh, quote unquote, dimension or timeline. You know, uh, that's because you rocking with that new might and that new might energy, you know, definitely has that, you know, that vibe to it. Shuja Light, uh, it's spelled S-U-G-I-L-I-T-E. And new might, uh, if you look at Shania Do, uh, spelling it is N U U M M I T E. And making sure the new might is, uh, you know, you want to do your little research because uh, making sure it's from, I think, Greenland, if I'm not mistaken, because some new might is copper night or copper light i did a video about that you know and that's not really the real new might you know what i'm saying in essence so you know you want to be uh you know aware that you want to show your new might from greenland but yeah shoot your light and shoot your light in which any crystals that have like multiple elements in it you know again it's like a, a swiss army knife you know like think of peter sight and lapis azula is the first two that come to mind where they got like different and also different you know even crystals that uh should i say elements that may kind of in essence beef with each other in the body because remember you know as above so below like you know certain elements 
you know, although all different elements is healthy for the body, some kind of be beefing with each other in the way they help the body. In the sense of like man manganese prevents the absorption of iron and iron presents the, prevents the absorption of manganese and manganese promotes like the unconditional love vibes with rose quartz. A lot of your pink crystals are sometimes purple crystals, but pink, you know, the marganite, rose quartz, uh, in most cases like rhodonite and rhodocrosite, you know, that's the manganese energy, you know, that's promoting sympathy, empathy, love, you know what I'm saying? And again, being aware of like how you're working with your crystals, you know, if you been being a doormat to everybody, you know what I'm saying? You may not need more manganese, you may need more iron, not only in your diet, you know, not only working with it as a crystal, but in your diet as well, because, you know, manganese and iron are being different, like seeds or different vegetables, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I was going to say, like, you know, with Shujalite, Shujalite has manganese and iron in it, you know, so you kind of got that balance of grounding, but then also, you know, the the quote unquote in essence you could say sensual but you know uh you know empathy you know vibes you know what i'm saying so it's kind of balanced you also got uh the if i'm not mistaken sodium and uh potassium you know and again potassium connected to uh to help in the pineal gland you know, no coincidence that, you know, again, the Latin word or root word for potassium, calium. And uh, calium standing for like a uh, burnt, like, like burnt ash or burnt wood in essence. And you think about burnt, something being dark, you know, if it's burnt. And calium, the first beginning to that is Kali, like Kali Ma and uh no coincidence that again potassium helps for the pineal gland to uh to decipher like light or whatever and again like you know uh being in the darkness of the kali my energy you know being able to decipher the light so you see how that uh, correlate again mythology and anatomy by law of correspondence and i break down that mythology's anatomy so much because it, it allows for you again like to and it's almost like that microcosmic you know death and rebirth cycle aka like leaving a will like if i gotta leave anything with my youtube channel and just in general it's like that energy you know uh with everything i say but for sure like using that a lot again the anatomy mythology are as above so below so much is because it allows for you to learn how to teach yourself or learn how to learn in essence you know what i'm saying like where well, you could learn stuff for your from your own perspective you know you could have your own aha moments you know like you see something operating the external world like i wonder how that would work in my body you know and bam you automatically gonna be able to tap into little downloads you know like all right if i'm trying to understand what's going on in the micro uh micro macrocosm let me study how an embryo starts off you know like oh an embryo starts off in the in the water you know an embryo starts off breathing the fluid in in the womb so as above so below life on this planet probably started from water you know what i'm saying and hence like the ancient connections with you know with water beings and you know and again like coming out of those depths and that, that's also connected to the volcano energy you know what i'm saying in essence because you go into the depths you know it gets hotter and hotter you know deeper into that mother energy so to speak you know uh but uh <laughs> you know you see that that connection you know what i'm saying the whole trident you know the three pong thing and you also see that connection how hermes trimagistus toth jehudi you know all the different names how that energy just transformed it's different beings you know throughout all the different elements and micro and macrocosm but
that's that's basically what I got right now. And again, just like you know, uh, simply put, you know, uh, oh, shot. I heard this brethren Rick Levine say this, uh, but the energy of like think cosmically but act locally i'm like damn that's so simple that's a cool little simple way to you know what i'm saying put that you know think cosmically you know what i'm saying but act locally you know what i'm saying like yeah you cosmic you multi-dimensional how does that translate into your now moment you know what i'm saying because even again like you know uh getting into these deep esoteric points you know uh, inner standings it's not just about ooh that's deep you know again it's like you know uh helping to really gain understanding about yourself and you know applying it you know whether it is something that is applicable or just something that just gives you a better understanding of yourself but again it's like using that to operate to help yourself you know what i'm saying because if we doing all this learn about this learn about that but it doesn't translate into helping ourselves and others uh that goes into my the video i did about spiritual you know assessing your spiritual practices you know and i went through like you know a list of like how uh again how to see if your spiritual practices is really truly you know helping something you know what i'm saying in that sense of it Yep, that's it. We ain't prolonging any longer, you know what I'm saying? Been a nice little build. Also, some other little shows. Again, for those of y'all who watch shows, that's my little balance. Because to be real honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, again, everybody find their balance in different ways, you know, because I, I be so in nature a lot lately you know it's like i balance myself out by you know having me my little show moments which is still i still kind of keep it somewhat metaphysical in essence where it's going to be something that breaks down metaphysical in some kind of way or has some type of insight you know whether it's comics or little movies or shows and stuff like that you know but uh Cause oh, a matter of fact, uh, the movie what's the name of it? Uh, Psychic. It's something about Psychic School. But it's a it's a it's a little movie, and in the in the movie it's about this being that came from the moon and had telepathy and was trying to convert all the other beings to like tap in. Uh, so they could prepare for the for the changes coming into the future. And uh, one of the things though they was doing was at the school, and you know, again, like just metaphorically, I took the whole the school was like a metaphor for you know, like being on earth, you know, because earth is like a classroom. So, like, you know, although it was a literal classroom or school, you know, with a principal, you know, in the in the show, is also kind of like you know, again, like that whole little connection. But they stopped, they stopped the use of cell phones, you know in the uh in the school but more so like to to amplify the the abilities to you know connect more with the telepathy so to speak you know but i'm a i, I gotta uh i'm gonna do that podcast style good stones for retro season uh i've been tapping in it depends on you know the energies that you've been having to deal with or that you're dealing with you know in the sense of uh it's like a balance you know i think of the whole little situation of how i bring up like the black obsidian and the rose quartz balance like the black obsidian to like bring up the tough issues and then the rose quartz to like love yourself through it you know bringing it up and then loving it you know so to speak you know 
Uh, but I've been I've been on the Black Obsidian vibes. Uh, and in general, though, I'd be real like just a lot, a lot of focus on grounding. You know what I'm saying? Like I even laughed the other day. You know when I saw like my my old video and just show the growth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why it's good to leave those videos up because one may feel like oh I'm embarrassed that I even which I explained it you know thoroughly, but it was still like kind of like funny to be like. Like I actually did a video like beware of grounding crystals <laughs> like, and like but I, I realized though what I was saying in so many words it was like you know it's like uh almost like dealing with the extremes like almost like uh, if I was to do a video like beware or like I just spoke on high vibrational crystals but like basically without me knowing you know and thinking it was harmful but it wasn't you know but well, I guess if you're not aware of like how long you should be in certain spaces that's not in alignment for your highest good. But like in that video, in so many words, I was like, you know, like the ground and crystals was aligned for me to be around people who may have not been in alignment for my highest good. And I felt comfortable around them though. Like, you know, it was as if I could be comfortable around small talk, you know, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But which again, like, of course, again, like, you're not trying to, you know, uh, I mean, to each his own, but, you know, like, once you do kind of get to a certain space metaphysically and just in general, you know, uh, too much or just certain levels of small talk just is not, you know, you know, we all got our different levels of a threshold with it, you know what I'm saying? Some of us, you know, may still work nine to fives where you're dealing with people, you know, that may not have no clue of you know certain metaphysical things so you still kind of gotta have that you know that report that rapport slash like how to say that feet on the ground type of energy you know what i'm saying and again uh ain't nothing wrong with that in essence because that's a part of your energy you know as long as you're not regressing energetically you know uh part of our energies is to you know again like having empathy you know and having that strength so we can endure those situations and so we can be a beacon for for others you know what i'm saying on that level you know but uh yeah i remember like doing that video but yeah as far as the crystals i know again the black obsidian i've been working with uh i've been working with pyrite very strongly hematite which literally that's my bracelets i've been wearing uh my shungite tiger's eye bracelet with pyrite on it and then oh and then man i love me some graphic feldspar graphic feldspar the smoky quartz mixed with the moonstone and of course which the etsy shop is down but if you would like to order some things you know uh or should i say the etsy shop is temporarily you know what i'm saying uh closed but you know, uh, send me a message on my Epic Lifestyles page on Instagram for inquiry. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in. But yeah, the, the, the golden, I mean, uh, the graphic feldspar, you know what I'm saying? Again, that smoky quartz vibe, aka the dark crystal. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in with the dark crystal. Because again, especially with retrogrades and just in general, you know what I'm saying? A lot of root chakra old stuff coming up possibly you know most cases from childhood you know because again your childhood started off with the stuff from your past life in essence you know and you know again on, on that level so uh a lot of just grounding energies and and speaking of bloodlines and mars energy you know what i'm saying working with hematite you know uh also like detoxifying crystals so any like uh, your uh, greenish yellow crystals would be pretty good too like i've been working with my peridot uh bracelet peridot and uh the i always kind of say this funny my maori what it's called maori jade i didn't realize it was that uh i just thought it was kind of like a regular little jade until uh I read about my Ori uh, Jade and how it has a lot of hematite in it. 
and because I was wondering like I got these jade beads and like my magnetic hematite beads was actually like moving them around I'm like damn I'm like these crystal you know and again shout out to like like the little scientist energy just you know uh, within the experience of making bracelets you know what I'm saying like seeing that and finding out uh, like oh shit I had them and, and it kind of goes to show you too like that's why I, with like you know uh with shopping for crystals and things of this nature you know like doing your deeper research because people have something labeled in fact it's labeled dendritic jade uh or dendrite jade in the in the shop that i got it from but you know come to find out because again the proof is in the pudding it don't matter what they say it is it's operating like more of a jade you know what i'm saying and I didn't see no other jade speak of itself like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, going off of the research and my actual experience and the, uh, you know, context clues of that. But, you know, and yeah, and again, the light green crystals helps with delivering the detox and energy because also with the retrograde, and again, speaking of emotions earlier, you know, and speaking of iron and emotions again like back to bloodlines and reincarnating too you know in essence you know uh the 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 liver uh you know energetically holds emotions and then the liver is also like quote unquote you could say like the most blood dense uh organ and so that's also meaning that it's like the most like one of the most iron dense organs and it almost kind of serves like a little electrical grounding you know energy within the body as well due to that you know what i'm saying but yeah that you know again the black obsidian uh what else say hematite peter site they kind of off and on again like with uh certain unconditional love crystals to kind of you know make sure the love there because through the retrogrades and in general you know a lot of us may have been through certain traumas and speaking of the libra energy you know and and balancing out that heart chakra energy you know like uh certain things we may have experienced that may have made us lean towards you know closing down our heart chakra and that's something we don't want to do and that shit seems tough because you have so much shit coming at you that just make you just kind of in essence be like well fuck that shit you know what i'm saying like where you want to get a little bit too stern and closed off you know what i'm saying but that's only if you're only messing yourself up you know what i'm saying hence why again like that that energy where you know it may sound like some new age shit you know about like vibrating higher but it's like like nah you know like you know you're not trying to be in no back and forth battle of like again for one fighting fire with fire gonna burn everything down you know what i'm saying it's like you're dealing with fire you use water you know what i'm saying so you know it's that energy you know uh you know on that level but yeah, you know what I'm saying, tapping in with the with the with the heart chakra vibes for sure. Let's see. What movie? Uh Brittany La Perrin, I don't know what uh I I probably brought up so many movies since, you know. What is the best crystal to utilize as a pendulum? Uh, honestly, whatever crystal resonates with you, you know, in essence, I wouldn't say one particular one. I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably got like, you know, there's a crystal that would be, you know, more suited, you know, so to speak. You know, I think of quartz, cause quartz is a uh, programmable, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it could be, you know, uh, I think a lapis azuli or like blue crystals or like uh, crystals that deal with the truth in essence, you know what I'm saying? Like a spectrolite or azurite or goshenite, but which goshenite and spectrolite is like very, very small crystals. So you probably won't find a pendulum made out of, you know what I'm saying? Out of those crystals per se. 
but you know what I'm saying? But you probably could attach a small piece to your pendulum, but you know. Yeah, pick a little sign with the whole little wound situation. Yeah, matter of fact, I got some, uh, Mr. West, O'Shea, we on the 11, 11, uh, jumping through the portal. Uh, the, the graphic felspar braces I got, actually, all, they, uh, they teamed up with, uh, Fluorite. You know, cause Fluorite been a great crystal to work with in the sense of, like, you know, matter of fact, the Jupiter, Jupiter and Aries placement or transit kind of helping with this, but like to kind of, like again, it's not to an extreme selfishness, just to like, again, like in order to be of service and your unique space, you know what I'm saying, be your unique aspect of source energy, you know, your unique expression of the universe, you know, uh, fluorite, and matter of fact, she would like help with that too, but fluorite and then fluorine in general, any crystal with fluorine in it, but uh, fluorite is real good for like helping you to know what's your energy. It kind of basically is in so many words. I don't too much like to use the word protection these days because it could get lost in the context of thinking like, oh, I'm protecting myself from something outside of me. Because at this point, I always see my crystals as helping, like working on me internally. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, some force field to keep something off of me, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of energy. But uh, fluorite definitely is great for like uh, preventing like external influences, especially if you've been having like, you know, uh, you know, uh, karm or not even say karmic attachments, but like just emotional attachments, mental attachments to a person, place or thing. You know, fluoride will definitely help for you to kind of release that or kind of get more of a sense of what's your energy and what's coming from the environment or what's your energy and what's coming from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because that clarity, you know what I'm saying? Again, uh, one of the, to me, the greatest protection is knowing yourself to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, uh, I might sound like some of the people who don't work with crystals, but that's real, you know, it's like you the walking crystal first and foremost. And, you know, with that being said, though, the highest level of protection first and foremost, you know, again, the crystals help though, but it's knowing yourself to the fullest because one person you can't bullshit, one person you can't fucking, you know what I'm saying, play around with is somebody who know they fucking self, you know what I'm saying, to the fullest, you know? When you know you know I'm straight on that. You know like, nah, I'm good. You know, nah, I said I was fasting on that. So I know that's not me that's feeling like I wanna let go of that fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, cause again, it ain't nobody else. You know, it's you allowing or not, you know, it's what you allow or don't allow into your space. You know what I'm saying? You could try to blame somebody else for bringing some unhealthy food around when you fasting, but ultimately, you know what I'm saying, it's your discipline and self-control, you know, that dictates whether you, you know what I'm saying, you give in to that energy, you know what I'm saying? Good. Right. Yep, and in the green jade, a nephrite jade in general helps again, uh speaking of another energy, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, with you know being on our soul purpose and you know letting go a lot of energies and moving forward, you know, uh dealing with the kidneys. The kidneys is where fear is held, you know, and again like uh in these moments right now, you know, if I was to look up medical records over the past few years, you know, it probably have a lot of people having a lot more kidney problems right now more than anything, you know what I'm saying? 
and not necessarily because they don't drink enough of water per se but more so energetically because of you know the fear energy building up in the kidneys you know and hence why even the word nephrite like nephrite jade neph is like connected to the kidneys on an etymology level and hence why etymology is another key of like teaching yourself like you come across certain words go break it down go look at the etymology of it and that helps to kind of just bring forth more truth to the situation you know what i'm saying well not only you read it in a book it came to you in the meditation but then also when you broke this word down it showed you know the truth in it as well you know what i'm saying and then when you did the gematria of it and it came down to this number it gave more truth you know what i'm saying like all that be be adding up Yeah, ancient style, and I wasn't saying uh, harden up your heart. I, I definitely wasn't saying to do that. I was actually saying the opposite, unless that's what you kind of saying, like you was agreeing with me. But just want to cover that. Like, no, you definitely, again, I was just saying, like, yeah, things could become, t like, you know, the way to do the external world could be and feel, you know, it, it'll make you want to, you know, shut down. But again, it's like you don't want to do that because, again, that's messing messing up with your alignment when you closing yourself down you know again hence why i brought up like you know again uh not fighting fire with fires if some if an energy is vibrating on a certain frequency you know you vibrate on a higher frequency and you know it's not able to get to you because that like uh i don't know if that was on never ending story where it's talking about like the the darkness and when the darkness grabs you it's, it's like something but you know it's like that because literally that's why that's in a bunch of shit too you know what i'm saying movies and stories mythology all that like you know fighting against this you know kind of cold or dark energy you know what i'm saying it's like man we gotta definitely have that unconditional love energy up to par you know what i'm saying not being hard on ourselves right now because again it starts with yourself not judging and not being hard on yourself first and foremost. Oh, all right, hold on. I'm gonna get it right now. Uh, you said the movie with the telepathic uh, moon being. Psychic school wars. Psychic school wars. That's the name of it. get too into it. yep I got my little notes yeah uh, Keio Goku was a transfer student you know in matter of fact uh, he had like this oh, I ain't even gonna go into it you know you definitely gotta check it out but one thing because I did bring this up when I when I talked about in the video about a uh, retrograde resilience you know uh, I kind of was referencing Seki. Seki is one of the characters, you know, and basically he had a hint of his telepathy kind of, you know what I'm saying? A little psychic ability was kind of on, but it was dormant for for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what I was speaking on too, like you having your power levels low, in essence, as a form of protection, you know, because you don't, because think about like if you, keep trying to raise it or like try to fully activate but then you're not fully ready to sustain that energy that 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 comes with like once you raise it to that vibration then you know again like once your light shining that bright you know all all the marts you know you got to be prepared for all those marts to be flying at you you know what i'm saying in so many words you know so in some cases, it's better for you to, again, like, you know, not get activated fully to a certain point till you just fully have a certain level of understanding or to have a certain ability to sustain, you know, that 
that that energy or alignment you know what i'm saying but uh yeah but i was talking about seki when i kind of brought up that in that video Cosmically acting locally. Won't be on these phones so much. Be tapping in with the community physically. between the spiritual and the physical. What is a good crystal for physical and spiritual balance? Hmm. Generally speaking, before I even, you know, before a particular crystal comes to mind, I feel like just in general, most heart, heart chakra crystals is gonna kinda, you know, kind of bridging that gap in essence between the higher and lower chakras you know uh you know lapis azuli comes to mind you know what i'm saying because lapis help you tap in with the high chakras but it has specks of pyrite in it that helps for you to ground and you know to be physical you know to be present you know what i'm saying in your now moment uh I would also say Peter site as well. That's that's a pretty uh have that balance as well. So Peter site lapis azuli. What else? I gotta go in a few. Let's see, answer a few more questions. Best known for knowing thyself. Hmm. You know, well, honestly, you know, uh, I would think, you know, first thing that would come to mind, man, that's why it's becoming my favorite crystal fluorite. You know, uh, gonna definitely be in that mix, you know. Because again, it's kind of it's keeping out those external influences and it's helping you to have an awareness of your mental and emotional body, you know, and like in essence, like uh, in so many words, also working on the subconscious level. So, you know, like a deeper aspect and not just surface level consciousness, you know, so uh, I definitely would say fluorite would be a, a great crystal. You know, uh, black obsidian because it's helping you dive into the shadow self. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the true crystals I brought up, and I did a video just on those, but like Go Goshenite, uh, Spectralite, Nazarite. I definitely, uh, Goshenite, Nazarite for sure. You know, because again, it's like, it's just showing you undeniable truth, just in general, you know, but which a point to undeniable truth with dealing with yourself, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, so like a Azerite, Goshenite, Fluorite combination, you know what I'm saying? That definitely, you know, even again, like having the Black Obsidian in there, that'll amplify, you know, a little bit of understanding of self on a deeper level. Let's see what uh hmm. that, that's what come to mind so I'm gonna leave it at that 
but I feel like there's something else that might be. Let's see, knowing yourself to the fullest. Yeah, I'll just say those that I name, you know. And again, as I bring up fluorite, any crystals with fluorine in it will help you to kind of get a deeper understanding about yourself. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think Shoot You Like got fluorine in it too. It has it has a bunch of different little uh, elements involved. Yep, the spiritual journey is a marathon and not a hundred yard dash. Yep, Piccolo son not having enough of time, you know, to figure things out. Hence with the whole little, cause again, like speaking of the archons and the ma ma malevolent reptilian energy, and in connection with the tarot papers, the tarot papers talk about this strongly. And the story, uh, matter of fact, uh, I shade a credo, credo mutua. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I forgot what part of Africa he was from, but you know, uh, the African shaman credo mutua. Uh, I think if you want to look him up, C R E D U or C R E D O. And Mutwa, M-U-T-W-A, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and he talk about the Chitauri people, C-H-I-T-A-U-R-I, which is a, like some reptilian beings and the whole little story of, you know, separating the androgynous aspect of humans into woman and man, and then also giving them words and language to confuse them. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like, you know, Again, like some angels necessarily ain't, you know what I'm saying, uh, get no good or bad, right or wrong to it. Just understanding when you, you know, again, like listening to different stories, you know, because that, that's also connected to the seraphim, you know, energy. And speaking of crystals, seraphimite, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but in so many words, you know, like, again, like humans being treated like chattel, uh, slaves, and, you know, keeping them to a level of not reaching a certain age, so certain truths wouldn't be able to be passed down and be sustained. Because, you know, again, like now with all these, all this kind of, you know, foods, chemicals, all the type of shit going on, well, being, you know, not life expectancy to at about 60 or 70, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I mean, I know it's going past that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for the most part, you know, on average, you know, again, like people not living long enough to even, you know what I'm saying? And then in the system where they working to the fullest until, you know, those last moments, you know, a lot of that information ain't being passed down. You're right. I mean, I wasn't being passed down. You know, things is shifting, things is changing. But yeah, I'm about to be out, guys. Let's see. to be out though uh again y'all know what it is uh any and all donations greatly appreciated you know the donation links is underneath all the videos and again i don't monetize the videos so they greatly appreciate it uh you know and also you can connect with the patreon if you want to check out different videos that i don't have on youtube uh 
I've been posting the link to the Discord server. You know what I'm saying? Discord, a little app, almost like a forum slash little chat room vibe, you know. Been posting things in there. And then also, uh, again, got the podcast, uh, Esoteric Lounge. Recently did. That's that's a good little vibe to check check on. I just did a video on the, uh, I mean, the podcast on Archon Defense. You know, how to, def- you know, uh, in so many words, defend yourself from, from the parasitic archon energy, you know. And matter of fact, Dan Winters kind of get into that, you know what I'm saying? And the whole little uh, heart coherence and constructive wave interference and alignment with the golden mean ratio, you know, with the Taurus field. And, you know, when we parasitic or when we close down our heart chakra and that fucks with, you know, that, or that messes up our Taurus field. You know, in the health on that level, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yep, again, podcasts, uh, Spotify, uh, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and I think the other spot is called Crowdcast, if I'm not mistaken. That's it and just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Again, uh, for right now, with the jewelry, uh, in- Instagram page, Epic Lifestyles, E P I K L I F E S T Y L E Z. You know, message me for inquiry. But greatly appreciate building with y'all, you know, again, in this new moon energy happening in staying resilient resilient and brilliant yeah, but, yeah and I'm out y'all peace I already know what it is. Now the vibrate, not too far in the future, not too far in the past, right now. Yeah. Holla at y'all. Much love and appreciation. Stay, stay present. Stay tapped into your spiritual practices. Strengthening your inner awareness. All that good stuff. Magic. What is it? Magic Mulata. Greatly appreciate that. Peace, peace, y'all. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Keep that heart chakra open. While still being discerning, you dig.